Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create test plans, test suits and test cases in Azure test plan as well as how to create configuration and parameters and use them with the test cases. I have logged into my Azure DevOps account. So click the project, click the test plans. Let's create our new test plan. So this test plan we are going to create for testing a shop project. So let's give the name as shopping and the area path is demo project and iteration we will leave it as the demo project for now. Click create. So now we have created the test plan. So let's add the test suit to it. So test suit is basically about grouping the test cases together. Click this click new suit so we have three options here static suit requirement based suit and the query based suit so static suit in this case it actually the suit acts just as a folder we will be able to add any test cases to that is what is static suit and the next one is a requirement based suit so first let's create a, a test suit the requirement based suit so requirement based suit it's basically it is going to uh, create a suit from the requirements so in our case we have we are using the agile process so it is going to display all the user stories user stories it's considered as a requirement and if there is any test cases associated with that particular user stories that it is going to show let's click the run query you can see it is listing three user stories we will select the first two user stories and then click create suits so we could see the two user stories which we have selected are appearing as a test suit here and as part of the user stories there were one one test cases added and they are getting listed here let's select this test case let's add the steps for every test case this is manual testing so we need to provide the tester information on what steps they need to perform and what is the expected result so that they can follow these instructions and they can mark the testers either passed or failed let's add the first step so this is to validate the login credentials so they need to provide the, the username so the expected result is it should accept only email IDs as username next provide password the password provided should be hidden then click login button login should be successful so we have added three steps now save it let's open it again okay so we have provided three steps one is we need to give the username password and login button so this is for validate login credentials this is not only just for the validate login credentials for performing any other test in the shopping portal the user has to first do the login right so what we will do is we will select all these steps because this is going to be repetitive steps and we will click this option we will create them as a shared steps we will call them as login steps click create save and close so now we have created own shared steps which is about the login so that step we will be able to use along with the whenever we are performing even any other test case right so now we will create an another test suit based on the query new suit query based suit so query based suit is again it's about right we are based on a certain query based on certain criteria we are going to pull the test cases and then those test cases we are going to uh, create it as part of a test suit so let's add an another class we'll select it based on the priority equal to one so we'll run the query so we have two test cases which is of priority one so let's select them and then create a 
suit so we have a new query based suit so again where we have two test cases which has the priority of one okay so this is how you create the um, query based suit so now let's create another test suit which is a static suit so we'll call it as we'll put all the test cases under the shopping portal so that is a shopping test suit we can add any new test case so let's add a new test case so here again i'll show you um, one more option where we will be able to multi create multiple test cases using the grid right so this is a grid so till now what we have seen is so we were keep creating individual test cases so for that we were giving a title for the test case and the step action and the step expected result so it is like we are creating one by one uh, so now in this case we will be able to add multiple test cases in a single shot using this grid so this will be of very useful if you already have your test cases in excel sheet you can just copy paste and create multiple test cases right uh, so for an example let's add few more test cases right test case one So here we will be able to even search and assign to users as well. Okay, so let's add one more test case. So we should be able to select a specific product category. So now we will save this, right? So we can clearly see these are the uh, test case titles and the, these are the step actions, right? So we have saved it. So this will be part of the shopping test suit. Okay, so we can see that they are part of the shopping test suit. So now what we will do is we will go and update the steps for this particular test case because without login, you won't be able to check for the product categories. So that has to be added. So let's go here, right click. We'll give an option insert style steps. Run query, insert shared steps. So we have added the login steps as the first step. Click save and close, right? So we have seen the option of creating the shared steps and adding as part of the test case. Now let us go and define configurations click here configurations right so currently we can see there is one test configuration windows 10 but this test we wanted to perform in the browser so let's add an additional configuration and in the as part of the browser we can see these are the following list of browsers available right so currently we have uh, two configuration variables one is browser and operating system so you can add multiple configuration variables so if you want to have a specific configuration variables, first we need to add them here and then we will be able to add that as part of the test configuration. Click new test configuration. So we will 
add the new configuration for the different browsers chrome and then we'll add a configuration variable so we'll select the browser chrome save it so we will add one more configuration again we'll call it as uh, firefox and then the configuration variable again it is browser and we'll select firefox and then click save so we have added multiple test configurations now let us go to a test plan okay so what we will do is we will assign the configuration to this particular test suit assign configurations so we'll reselect windows 10 and we'll select chrome and firefox save so in the define page you will not see any difference but when we go to execute we will see now there are four test points and you will be able to see both the test cases are duplicated again and with the configuration one for chrome and one for the firefox so this is the how the configuration helps okay so now what the user can do is the user can select the different uh, test cases and then they can run, click the run for web application so when they click the run for web application okay so the different uh, steps for the test cases will be listed so here we have selected four so that's why it is four test so and then the user can execute the test side by side and then they can just mark whether the particular test is successful or not right okay so they can save so they have executed two tests and then they have marked them as passed okay okay so now let's uh, review about the shared parameters click parameters so you'll be able to add parameters so we need to give the parameter name here so let's give the name as username we are adding the parameter for the our to validate the login and the password okay. let's provide the username as tester1 password test123 similarly tester2 test345 tester3 test456 the name is simple name but uh, according to our shopping portal it should accept only emails so let's update that Okay. so first let's save this changes so now let's add a new test case so this will be validate login the parameters okay so we'll add the step here so here when we are adding the step we need to use this at symbol and add the name you can provide any name expected results IDs next uh, provide password should be hidden should be hidden then click login button login should be successful so I'm just putting successful okay so now when you come down and see here click the parameter values right so you you can see all the three parameter values which we have created now let's save and close so now let's get back to our test plan now let us add the new test case which we have added to this particular shopping test suit click add new test cases add existing test cases run query so we'll select this validate login with parameters and add the test cases so now we have added the validate login with parameters test case to the shopping test suit let's go to the execute so we will select this test case validate login parameters and click run for web application okay so here we can see see these particular 
testing is listed as part of multiple iterations so when you select iteration one it is giving getting the parameter the first parameter what we provided for the the username and password so let's mark it as success success so then we'll go next so the iteration two so we'll mark it as success success then go to iteration three so here we will mark it as failure Then again here we can mark it as success even though the password was visible still the login was successful right so we'll save the changes right and we will close it so now you can see this particular test case is marked as failed because one of the uh, steps has failed right so the next option what you have here is you will be able to create charts so you can be able to create the charts based on the test result so we'll be able to group by i mean failure type and then you'll be able to create a bar chart pie chart whatever charts you want based on the outcome so here we can see right so you'll be able to create this chart here so which says okay uh, so these many number of tests not ran and this many is passed this is failed right so you'll be able to and even you have an option you'll be able to add to a dashboard if you already have created a dashboard you can add it to you'll be able to create multiple charts based on the different categories based on the new test cases you'll be able to create area id and then you can create like this you can create multiple charts as well as you'll be able to even select the different categories right you can select data if it's a column based chart pivot table stacked area area chart line chart so whatever chart you wanted to create that you'll be able to create so now let's see you'll be able to see the progress report here so this is like out of box kind of charts which is available so here you'll be able to see the progress report and he'll be able to again filter based on the test source outcome configuration test uh, priorities to whom it has been assigned to all these things and similarly you'll be able to see all the run for information as in the run explorer right so here you can see right okay this is the particular test case which need investigation you can select it you can find more information about this you can see the test results here and when you click it so it is going to tell you right how many iteration was done which iteration failed so all these informations you will be able to see here even you will be able to create a bug right so bug from all these things so this is going to give you more information on the Uh, reproduction steps so what is the test case it is associated with that so all these informations you will be able to see in the test run and even you will be able to create a bug so we have created a bug now based on this particular test case failure so you'll be able to attach link to it you'll be able to update your analysis result to here if you wanted to attach any attachment documents that you'll be able to do here so all these things are possible here and here again you have an option to assign testers to run all the test so you wanted multiple users to run the execute the same test so you will be able to click assign testers to run all test and then you will be able to select multiple users and then you will be able to assign this test to them and you'll be able to click this option and ensure that email is sent to all the users then the users will get notification about the particular test suite which has been assigned to them so in this demo we have seen how to create a test plan test suite test cases and we have seen how to create configuration and assign the configuration to the test suite uh, similarly we have seen how to create the shared parameter values and as, use that as part of a test case as well as we have explored how to create charts and how to do the test and analysis and how to create a bug from a failed test case thanks for watching the demo